so press any key on the keyboard to boot from the USB and uh, like the previous uh, computer that we have uh, set up it started to boot from the USB uh, so uh, I'm going to let it uh, boot and come back after it has done booting so the setup have come so I'm going to press next uh, install now and remember that I've told you about uh, is that you have to delete the partition and create new partition otherwise you will get double windows which you do not want so I'm going to delete these partitions click OK and click new I will be making the 500 GB partition one uh, one partition for the 500 GB because I will be installing all of the primary softwares on this machine so I want space on this machine uh, because the softwares they do take a lot of space so that's why I am creating only one partition and I do not have uh, any other hard drive or install on this machine uh, because uh, remember that I have uh, all of these machines so because remember that I have all of these machines so I have installed the hard drives on all of these machines so you, uh, you can use uh, a NAS uh, bay or a NAS uh, 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 a drive uh, system with a free BSD operating system installed on it and set up NAS drives on your local network uh, that can be a possibility but I particularly do not uh, need the NAS as a separate network storage because uh, I currently work alone uh, uh, that's why I and, and no other user on these computers work so uh, that's why I do not need to you know set up the, uh, the NAS so I'm going for the setup whenever I uh, need some sort of storage space or something like that I just turn on the computer and besides they will be uh, they will already be uh, on uh, when I'm doing work so you you can use a uh, 4TB or 6TB on your primary machine uh, like on this machine so uh, it will be uh, easy to access but uh, since I have took the pain setting up this uh, network setup of uh, one gigabit uh, a transfer rate not the transfer rate one gigabit setup uh, I have seen uh, people who have nowadays 10 gigabit even up to I believe so 250 gigabit uh, of network speed is available uh, if you go to Broadcom uh, uh, the Ethernet company search the Broadcom so uh, on their website you can find the particular network storage if you are going for a very big big network farm or network setup or something like that so uh, let the windows finish up and let the computer boot a couple of time and when it boots up and comes back 
uh, I will come back and continue the process from here so after the computer have booted a couple of time uh, we have come to this place you want to be setting up the region that you uh, live in I'm going to just set it as United States if you live in the United Kingdom you want to be setting up to this I'm going to set this up as United States and click yes and US and then skip the layout and uh, PC name remember that uh, I'm using the Dota 2 naming convention and I've uh, labeled this PC as sniper from the Dota 2 so I'm going to name it sniper as a, a username and click next and set up a password uh, you want to be setting up a password that you can easily uh, remember and remember that I told you that I am keeping this logbook you want to be writing everything uh, in here so that you don't forget because when you want to be setting up this uh, large network of computer for anything you can forget easily I'm going to set up these questions and come back so then the Cortana personal assistant you can accept or decline I'm just going to say accept and remember the history and I am going to say yes and there we go and this is the first run of the windows so thank you for please bearing with me I'm doing this as as a, a project So the windows uh, have come back and this is the screen and if we start the task manager and click on the more info and go to here and click on the performance and you can see we have the Noma nodes available as well and the logical processors which are two CPU and cores 24 and logical 48 so uh, these are the dual Xeon E5 V3 ones which have the score of 3000 uh, R15 Cinebench at the Rebus uh, render from Cinebench uh, benchmark results and this is the RAM and this is the hard drive uh, which I've told you which we have installed the SSD so this uh, this is a pretty beefy machine in my opinion at the at this time uh, so uh, next thing I will be installing the drivers on this machine and the T55 one so thank you for watching and